All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna be doing a complete overview of the new Rekrum original that is called Showdown. So um, currently as a recording, this is only available to Rekrum Plus members, but sooner or later it will be coming out to the public. So let's get into it. So uh, timestamps will be in the description um, if I have time to add them. So we're gonna be going over uh, guns, uh, the map layout, and general strategies. So, the first thing that we can talk about <laughs> is, of course, the revolver. So, how the revolver works is you just shoot it, you can, you can continue to click it, or you can hold it down, and it will fire. It's pretty cool. Um, the reload animation, as you might have seen, the little barrel right here comes out, um, it turns and then it goes back. You can't really put bullets in it because you don't really reload guns like that in Rec Room. So, yeah, now I'm going to go to my POV and we're going to go to the next weapon. Next weapon we can talk about is kind of, it's kind of like the pistol. It just has smaller shots and that is the... Um, semi-auto I think so basically how this works or no it's a burst so basically you shoot and it but it bursts so it isn't completely rapid fire but it'll just do this and as you just saw the um this is I think lever action for reloading so it's pretty cool um it shoots out three or four bullets and it's great for long range, but you can get exposed pretty easily. Final weapon is the double barrel shotgun. So this one's, the range for this one got nerfed a little bit, but it's not bad. And as you saw, um, this, lev um, this weapon is break action, which means it goes down, you put the bullets in, and you flick it back up. Uh, if you play Population 1, then you probably know what it's all about, so... This one is good for mainly close range battles, maybe mid range. So, like as an example, if your opponent is maybe right where that cactus is, it's pretty easy. But you might want to aim a little bit more down when you're firing. Next, let's talk about all the buildings and all the places where you can spawn. <laughs> so, um, in the mines, I believe you can spawn right here or somewhere over there. And you can pick up your shotgun, and yeah, and cool fact before we move on is that if you find a weapon that you want to replace your revolver, you can grab it with your offhand, and it replaces. I know that that wasn't the best weapon, so I'll do it again. So you just grab it with your offhand, and it just replaces. So it's a good general strategy. The next place you can spawn, and this is the most common place you can spawn, right here. So, you can either jump onto the chandelier or go back there, grab that gun, and snipe, or you can just go for it. So, grab it with your offhand and it'll replace. And you can go to the chandelier, shoot if you need to, and then come back here. And of course, you can just continue to shoot. Um, so, the next place you can spawn is I believe in the jail. Now I'm pretty sure that when you spawn in for the first time in the game, you have a chance to spawn here. The next place you have is this one right here. You will normally spawn right in front of the door. I think it's either right here or right here as well. Um, I kind of hope that we get a map extension so we could go through here. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and then the final place that I know of that you can spawn is right here. So, a cool little map detail that most people have kind of already realized is that you can bounce on this thing right here. Pretty cool. Um, and also I recommend that you don't jump to get ladders because when you clamber up you go a lot slower, but if you just move up to it, you just kind of fling up and then go forward a little bit. So it's a pretty pretty cool little thing 
Next, let's talk about general strategies. So, obviously, keep moving, keep strafing. Um, just like in paintball and laser tag and all that stuff. Just keep keep moving. You know? Hmm. Uh, the next strategy is try to stay as far away from your opponents as possible, depending on the gun that you have. I'd say that the only gun that you would need... Um, if you don't want to go far range is the shotgun, but the revolver works too. So if you're going long range, use the revolver or this gun right here. And speaking of, the revolver is kind of a, um, it's kind of an all-in-one type weapon. It's great for shooting, great for aiming, all that stuff. So, yeah, um, final place that you can go to, this thing right here, you can just shoot bottles. It's kind of fun. So, alright, uh, hey everybody, so before the video ends, I'd just like to give a huge shout out to someone named Dark Knight Rose VII or the 7th. Um, he gifted me the Space Visor, which is pretty cool of him, I've been wanting that for a while. And overall, he's just a really nice person, so I'd really like if you go subscribe to his YouTube channel, I'll put the link in the description. Anyways, see you guys, and remember to praise the sun. It'll die out in a few years, anyways.